We got a 2014 Dodge Charger. This is a police version. So they kind of pull a, a lot of thing out from here. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna install a radio right here. This is, this mounting kit is about 400 and something dollars. So it's about five, close to $500 just for the mounting kit because of this controller. Had to control this also right there. That's the reason why it's expensive. People ask why is it so expensive. So as you can see right here, people already try to get, well actually, you know, since it's a police car, they had to, pull all this other stuff device off so they kind of damage this part so today I'm going to show you how to remove it off I'm going to try to remove this clip right here uh, whatever you call that thing they already pulled it out so it's pretty easy put it up and you as you can see they there's the Philip you have to take this two Philip out I'm going to remove the uh, two Philip right here it's sometimes it's better to take a regular oh that's not a fill up right there now shake it a little bit and like somebody did this before right here just shake it and pull it if you can reach your hand underneath there and pull it it's better but uh if not just take a uh, prior and pull it out just it's gonna damage a bit right here like this like that but try to get that out now when you get it out it's just the two clip like this see you don't have to take these out and then now this one all you have to do is it doesn't have anything out just take and pry it out remember use the uh, door removal tool and just keep prying like this like that and this side, try that emergency light, see if it works. Try to not to damage anything, but it will come out just like so. And then once you get that out, you're gonna have to remove this by pushing this down and pull it out. Lift left and right left and right and pull it out that's and keep this on one spot and I'm not gonna remove none of these now you got four fill up two and four remove that out I don't want to lose it so I'm gonna do it all four of them now with the prior or tool remover go left and right left and right until it move about this much and then use your hand and just pull it out now you're gonna have a bunch of uh, 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 make sure you uh, make sure you put it on here for the uh, radio station and then this is for uh, I'm not sure what this is I think this is for uh, another it's uh, some sort of antenna but uh, always test it make sure your radio is playing depend on the customer want it or not because they both tend to look the same push and pull I'm gonna pull anything with one hand if I can do with one hand I just show you push right here zigzag and pull this is for the uh, aux input also the main power right there push it in and left and right left and right move it left and right left and right till you get it out now you got Bluetooth, you want to run the Bluetooth all the way down underneath and come right up here, just like so. Don't worry about this, this is a remote start I'm be doing. Now uh, this is the part that uh, we bought. I'm gonna clear this thing out a little bit because we got so much different job to do, we didn't get a chance to clean this up yet. So this is uh, fit for 11 to 14, 99. 6514B so this is what it come came with that part right there you need to plug that for the uh, controller and that's an, the yellow piece is antenna and you don't need this and we're doing double den but we do need this for uh, I mean uh, you don't need this for a single den you got a single den you need that so you need this you need this wire and this is a box to control everything else that's go to here and this 
little piece will go there. I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing it and I'll show you step by step. Now I'm gonna start putting some some uh, clips back in there. So it's a clip. Are they different? They uh the white ones gonna go on the bottom. You gotta make sure you put it right in that hole right there, not like this, but right in the middle. And push it in. And for the metal one, you just push it down like so. If you don't have anything to, if you're scared to hurt yourself, put a, take a flat head or something, push it down. It's easier. So now we got three, four screws left right there for, uh, for some other part. But I'm gonna run the wire right there. It's color to color. It's pretty simple. When I say color to color, you're gonna install red to the red, purple, green, white. You know, like I said, white it's got like one is for positive and white black is for negative, and same as color this. I'm installing the uh, pioneer right there. And pioneer, uh, most of this pioneer you need to run the ground to it for uh, a screen you'll be able to watch. So I'm gonna have to test that. He might need that piece for that. Uh, he might not because it doesn't have a DVD, but it, I, I'm going to assume, yep, somebody ground this out right there, You literally, so uh, I think I installed this at one point, yep, usually you need another bypass for it, but I didn't see the bypass unless they cut it and then it was not with it or something. Uh, yeah, we're gonna install this first and we'll see what happened with this Pioneer. Don't worry about what I just said if you don't have a Pioneer. With this wire, I'm gonna test see if this thing got a built-in amp or it doesn't have a built-in amp. So with the built-in amp, it should be right there. But if it doesn't have an amp, if you don't, I mean, if you don't want to take all that off to look at it, I took it off so I can see, you can literally look from the bottom, you can see that. Now, this one doesn't have a built-in amp. The reason I'll be able to tell is if I hook up this green wire and the green black to this, uh, it's called, uh, uh, as you can see right here, it's tone generator or tone generator using a 9 volt. Or you can put a 9 volt and tap whole one of them, which is the green one, and then the green and black, just tap it. Don't, don't let it, don't hold on to that like that. You're going to burn up the speaker. You got to tap it boop, boop, like that. You should hear a noise that making uh, a popping noise so I know notice that this is a uh, no amp or like I said you can check it over there if you are having if you have the uh, amplifier all you need to hook up this uh, green and purple right here and you're gonna need power you're gonna need ground which is a black wire and then you need ignition to to run that but but you only hook up this four wire right there the green and the purple and uh, for me, I'm gonna be using this uh, green and purple for the, uh, this green and purple by itself. There's three of this right there. That's for the backup camera. I'm gonna use that because it's got a signal from the data. Thing you wanna do, you wanna do a, it's called a test fit. So you basically want to make sure this go in like, like so right here, okay? And, uh, once you get that done, once you got this done, you want to screw all of these right there. You want to make sure, how, however, if you got this brand new, they come with screws. In my case, it doesn't. And I, I'm making sure there's no uh, wire. I mean, this, this screw doesn't poke anything inside. So I'm going to tie this thing up and tie the other side up and take this piece out and put this thing in the uh, car first. So now I'm going to kind of test fit right here again, just to making sure I'm doing the right way, the right thing. you got to put it like this, and it's going to be stay on that hole right there, that hole, see that hole? And make sure it fit like, like that, okay, after you put the wire in. But now, the plug that I have is right here, this whole plug right there. What you do, you plug piece to piece, this is going to go to that little box right here, uh, I mean behind here. You can see it right here. It will sink to it, and then I will um, uh, unstretch this thing, 
stretch this thing out so so uh, the antenna this is for the antenna I believe it's some sort of antenna so found out this white wire this white wire got four plug right there it's gonna go right here see connection I made earlier it was the wrong one so this red wire right there with from this side of the plug from this plug from here it's not working okay reason why i don't know why well i do know but i don't want to explain that i don't have the time to do it i gotta get this card done because i spend mainly four four hours already working on remote start and everything else so use it from this side to get the power on if not you're not going to get on right there so this is what they look like so far and i'm gonna put everything back and i'm gonna plug the uh backup camera in the back of this radio and then I'm going to test that part and then I'll put it together and see what's going to be like. So uh, what I did right there, I ran this black wire right there that come from the top screen going down right here. I screwed the radio right here and kind of pushed the screw. And then, well, you know, you, you got to put this, the, uh, this black uh, wire, the thick wire, I mean, uh, uh, climate control basically it control from here to there and then and then you you push it in and then screw it in The yellow wire is not antenna. I just got I didn't read direction. I should have re read the direction So what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to program the, the box to a computer You're gonna have to remove all this screw right here and then there's a, a USB uh, it, It's got to be a special uh, USB uh, plug so uh, if I can link that uh, thing you can order that online they're about five dollar but you got to have a certain one to for it to work if not it's not gonna work so yes you got to update this system things uh, updated and then this is what happened controller AC yep AC right there is on right here has it light temperature gotta come down right there and there's also another way how to sync this is uh, I should do another video or you can do it like this you can sync it like this this is for AC guys I had it on heat earlier because I could not uh, uh, it wasn't it wasn't updated so Climb it off and climb it on. Leave it on like that and we're good to go.